Hey everybody, Artie here at Striking Results Pro Shop. We had a request to do a league arsenal video, and one of the few things you kind of want to ask yourself when doing this uh, is one, how many balls you're going to have. In this case, I'm going to use six, because that's usually what I travel with. Um, is what kind of bowler are you and what kind of conditions are you bowling on? So the first thing is conditions, pretty easy. Is there a lot of volume? Is there a low volume? High volume shots, you're going to want to use probably stuff that rolls a little earlier, stuff that's going to be a little bit bigger, asymmetric stuff, stuff like that. In uh, lower volume stuff, you're going to want to use stuff that gets and deals with friction, gets a little further down the line before it hooks, stores a little bit more energy. That's your, kind of the, the, the big things. Uh, the other thing, what kind of bowl are you? Are you rev dominant or are you speed dominant? Talk to your coach, talk to your friends, but the general gist is, is, is your rev rate higher than the ball speed traveling down the lane? Or is the speed traveling down the lane higher than your rev rate? And how does that match up? Because it forces the ball to kind of roll at different spots on the lane. And so you face different difficulties. But you can also change the surface on all these things. It really is just finding out what shapes these guys create for you. And you treat them like golf clubs. They all do different things. Talk to your pro shop and they'll kind of work with you. So I learned in uh, college when I was bowling, the one through five system. And that's basically the one, two, three, four, five going on, name, labeling your balls. The number one ball being your biggest, earliest hooking ball. So it's typically asymmetric, it's typically a solid, and it's a high-end ball. So for me, I'm using the DNA. And it's funny that I had a, a training center, a, a, a training session at the ITRC with uh, Chris Barnes, Tommy Jones, a few other, other coaches over there, Mark Baker. and. One of the things they like to do is start off in a tournament with the biggest ball as far right as you can if you're right-handed, as left-handed, you know, same thing. And see what that does. If this ball's hooking a lot, you know you need, to, uh, you need to kind of ball down. If it's not hooking very much, you know you're probably gonna stay in this ball. And so it kind of gives you a good guide on how you go through the rest of your bag. The next ball is, maybe I need something early, but not nearly as much as this. And that's where you kind of ball down typically to like a symmetric solid or symmetric hybrid. Something that's still a big ball, something that's gonna get a lot of energy uh, early so that you can kind of catch that oil um, and roll through it and get the ball to read at the right spot of the lane. Um, and it also stores up energy more than this one would because this wants to roll earlier, this one wants to get a little further down. Now, there's tons of different balls you can pick to do that, but the gist is still the same. The next ball, this is probably one of your most important balls in the bag. This is your benchmark ball, your three ball. So uh, is that ball versatile? Can it play different parts of the lane? Are you comfortable and confident with it? This ball matters a lot. For me, the three and four spot are pretty much the same thing. The only difference is for my four spot, it gets a little bit further down the lane than this one. It stores up a little bit more energy. When it starts breaking down, I know I could jump to this and play pretty close on that same line and get a little bit more. Now. They do create different shapes, but they're still mostly similar. Um, and then the last ball on that list is gonna be when lanes break down, when you know there's high friction, you need to store energy and you need to create shape down lane because typically you're standing left or standing right if you're right, uh, left-handed uh, and you're sending that ball right and watching it swing back, right? And so you just need quickness up the back and you need uh, length. So for me, it's the IQ Ruby or any type of symmetric low diff solid, uh, really just depends on your game. But for me, that's what it is. Last but not least, it's a spare ball. Like, you gotta have a spare ball, I think. Um, or a really good sparing strategy. Why you choose a spare ball versus a reactive is, when you throw reactive at your spares, you tend to have to put the lane as a factor in how you pick them up. You've gotta stand a little bit more left or stand a little bit more right, because that ball is gonna hook right at the end. Whereas, with a spare ball, it's just gonna go where you tell it to go. Um, now, don't get me wrong, high rep players sometimes have difficulty keeping it straight, but for the most part, it's a lot easier to do than with a reactive ball. So. If you want to increase your score, you want to increase your uh, overall average, learn how to use a spare ball. Uh, you can throw this the same way at every other shot. Um, in general, how do I tr transition through it? For me, typically, if it's a heavy oil shot, I'm going to start off with the big ball, and then as the lane breaks down, I'm going to learn like when is the ball dying, when is it picking up, and I'm going to pick one of these other ones to kind of get further down. So do I need some shape still? Do I need more shape on the back? Or do you need as much shape as I can get on the back? And that's kind of how you pick and choose. And like I said, it's like golf clubs. You just pick what shape you need at the time you need it. Um, most important thing when you pick a six ball bag, throw as many games on these balls as you can. Learn your game, uh, learn your ball, learn your game, know at what situation, which one works best, or maybe it's a couple, you know? Um, always experiment, always try out. And if you have any questions, talk to your local pro shop, coach, friend, and hopefully you kind of guide yourself through. If you want to see any other videos or have any comments, Put them below and we'll see what we can do. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button, the notification bell, and the subscribe button, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.